Hello and welcome everyone to the next episode on SAP Business Technology Platform Training Series. In this whiteboard series, we are talking about cloud application programming model. In this session, we will see how to utilize the built-in types along with the CAPM as part of our database table. In the last episode, we have created our database table in CAPM. And in this episode, we will go ahead and extend the table and also see how to check the database content by uploading as well the data from Excel. So let me switch over to our business application studio environment and I will try to now add our database connection over this database icon. So let's click on the icon and create a new database connection. So to be able to access the database, which is part of my project, I need to first know where is my project directory. So we use a Linux command pwd print working directory to get to know where is my project. I will copy the same address and I will switch over to SQLite data connection. I will go and give a connection name my database access and I will put the path of our database connection with database name. I will test the connection. You can see connection is successful and now we will save it on the left. Once it is saved, I can just connect to my database and you can see my table is now visible over here. So this is my database table and I can also start writing a insert query as well as I can create an access to this database table. Now as a next step, we switch over back to a workspace and add a CSV folder inside our DB folder. So let's add a CSV folder. And what I can do is just go back to my Excel sheet, drag and drop the Excel sheet inside this CSV folder. Now the beauty of CAPM is if you are keeping your table name very much same as the namespace, basically anubav.db dash orders dot CSV, then the moment you deploy again, the data in your table will be uploaded automatically. So right now this table has no data. And once we redeploy after adding the Excel sheet with a similar namespace, system will automatically inject the data from the Excel into my database table. Try to upload my Excel. Okay, let's run CDS deploy. Okay, so successfully updated. Let's go back now and one more time. Let's give it a try. There you go. You can see all the data of sales order is now available finally in my database table. So this is how you can get issues while you are working with CAPM. And I hope you understood what are all the kind of smartness you have to add to fix these kind of issues. All right. So now I have got my data. As a next step, what I wanted to do is enrich this data with extra bit of fields like created by, created on, changed by, and changed on. Now think about a use case that in your real uh, world, whenever you want a similar kind of stuff to be done, wherever you want to add a lot of database tables and all these database tables would need similar fields like created by, changed by, created on, and changed on. Yes, so you would need them in so many database tables, almost every database table. So would you add these set of fields in every database table again and again, like four fields? So if you have 20 tables, 20 into four, you end up adding 80 fields every time. Now what CAPM says is you can perhaps go and use an aspect. An aspect is like an inheritance. So it's very similar to structures in, in ABAP. So you can go back and create a structure or reuse a structure which is provided by CAPM directly. We call this as managed structure. So you can inherit this directly in your database table and wow, you will get these extra bit of fields automatically added to your database table. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. And what I'm going to do is I will just go ahead and use a using clause. And I'm using here SAP CDS common uh, CDS itself, which is what we discussed in the last episode. And what I'm interested is to use this managed aspect 
and I can just put colon and I say managed. That's all I have to do and I will save it. And once again, I will perform a deploy command. So let's go back to our database table and once again, check it out what we get now in our database table. So let's click. Yes, so you can see here it has automatically added created at created by modified at and modified by all four fields automatically to my database table. Magical, isn't it? So that's the power of reusable types using CDS dependency, which we can get out of the box from the Capm library. If you're interested to learn complete cloud application programming model with SAP Cloud Platform, feel free to subscribe our training on anubavtrainings.com. With that, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next episode.